We'll talk about it, man. Uh, obviously, uh, impressive last time out. You know, yeah. big, big victory for you. I think it made a lot of, you know, big impression on a lot of people. What did it do for you in terms of, you know, confidence or, or belief or, or just, you know, knowing that, hey, yeah, I can perform at this level? Uh, I knew from the beginning, but uh, it was just a, not only a, a little baby step, but it's just a little part of it, you know, just a little bit performance, a little bit confidence, a little bit uh, essence of peace and joy and stuff like that, but also that little little fire inside that's burning, you know what I mean? So I can't wait to just go do it again and show the world what's up, serve it up with some Nikito Kai, you know what I'm saying? So. Dude, it's been a while. Um, obviously, it's been a crazy stretch of time between then and now, man, the entire world changed. Um, so I was just curious, the, the time between then and now, um, was that by plan, was that by design, or was that just kind of you know the way the world's played out? Uh, designed by the way that the world's played out, yeah, for sure, you just said it. But uh, yeah, man, just um, I tried to fight a little bit earlier, I was trying to catch another one soon on in June, uh, July, and then I tried to get uh, September, but didn't play out. And then October happened, and I had an opponent fall out. So now, you know, um, got another opponent, and it worked out. So just not stressing about it and, you know, keep training. It's them just giving me more time to work. And uh, it's been a blessing. It's been an honor, and I love what I do. Yeah, you mentioned the late opponent change. I'm curious, I mean, is there any time to really change a game plan, study a guy? Do you, do you even bother? What's how do, how do you approach that? You know, a body's a body. You know what I mean? Human, we're all human. A body's a body. He's got two hands, two legs. and But what separates us is our minds and our hearts. And I feel like uh, there's a lot of things that I bring to the table. And I'm just not going to – they're not going to let them catch me slipping. So I'm going to come f really hot and I'm going to take them out. Dig it. You can tell like the kind of mentality, the spirituality that you bring to to the energy that you bring to it. Where, where does that come from? Is that something that you've always had? Something that you found late? What's what, what's the story there? Like again, it's it's just a little bit of everything, you know. A little bit of discipline, a little bit of uh, peace, a little bit of of hard work, a little bit of everything, you know. Just like Fifty Cent says. So, I mean, uh, you know, that's I just love it. You know what I mean? And doing what I not just feel or know. But what it really is, what it truly is, is this is what I'm meant to do, and I, I love this, and there's nothing else I'd rather be doing or anywhere else or any other organization. So uh, I'm just excited, and I can't wait to do it. That's awesome. What's, what's the goal? I mean, obviously the goal is to pick up a victory, of course, but is it to have a, an exciting perform, you know, exciting fight of the night type fight, or would you rather have a performance of the night, you know, where you go in there and you dominate and get somebody out early? Uh, you know, this is a game of life and we're in the world and stuff, so things can play out a lot of different ways. Uh, people, you're going to fight people and sometimes they're going to be tougher, sometimes they're going to be more technical, sometimes they're going to, you know, fall, sometimes they're going to come forward and you just got to be ready for anything. I'm literally ready, ready to finish the guy in the first round, second round, drag him deep waters, submit him, ground and pound. I'm ready to just mix it up the whole way and go a full three round decision if I have to. So wherever it goes, that's where I'm planning on doing. And whatever circumstances they give me, I'm gonna use the most of that and perform at the best of my abilities. Nice, and last thing for me, I mean, what is the goal for yourself? You say, hey, I already knew I belonged at this level. So I mean, do you feel like you can make a fast ascension in the rankings? I mean, is this something you wanna shoot up the, the, the top of the division? Or do you feel like, oh, you know, I'm still kinda of young in my career, I can, I can develop into that uh, we, top contender? Uh, we're here, man, you know what I mean? So I'm going, I'm going all the way. And not just all the way to gold, but all the way, you know, past that, way further than that. And that's what I'm here for, things that are a lot bigger than me. And um, I just, uh, it's the beginning. Fight Island, you know what I'm saying? I love it here, dude. We went on jet skis this morning, got a little tan. We went, dude, we've been doing a bunch of stuff. I got, a, got one of those outfits, me and my, me and my boy Marcus. So uh, we're just doing a lot of fun stuff. And... I like it out here. If it, if it was up to me, I would just live out here. You know, I want to live here. So hopefully I can get another fight soon. Somebody fight me. Maybe you, turn, you can turn around before we leave Fight Island. That's what I'm thing. saying, dude. Yeah. But I got to get something booked, you know. So that would be sick. Is this mentality of, like, your last-minute opponent, yes, two hands, two feet, everything. Do you think more fighters need them right now, considering you sign a contract? The way the world works, you might go through two, three opponents before you even enter the octagon. I guess, yeah, it's just playing a little bit of both. Sometimes you're going to be, uh, you got to just play with the cards you're dealt with. And then also sometimes you got to be the master and plan of attack and you got to be the one playing the chess. But it's not always going to work out perfectly. Sometimes I try to control things 
and be in control of everything and it doesn't work out that way and you try to be so scientific with everything you're trying to be so precise with your stuff but something doesn't work out you become stressed out okay it's all good and then just play with whatever you get so I think mixing a balance of both and having a good time and still enjoying and relaxing and having fun but then also being super concentrated and focused and you know going out there and just super cutting through like a double-edged sword you know so are you the type of fighter that plan, that likes to plan their career or do you just take it one day at a time uh both so we have a dual mindset as well so like uh just whatever like i said you know um I like to be strategical. I'm trying to get better at being a lot more strategical, like a good strategy fighter. That's one thing I saw out of Israel Adesanya as well, is uh, he's both a flow fighter, you know, like a momentum fighter, but as well, he is a very good str strategical fighter, you know? So he like finds his strategy, starts to pick away, but once he gets in flow state, he doesn't have to do that. So it's like really hard to defeat those type of fighters without getting lucky, you know what I mean? What is uh, Nikita Kai? Nikita Kai. I know it's on your Boom. shirt, I just never knew what it was. Me, so I'm the 14th sensei in Nikita Kai. I just got my black belt last year. Well, congratulations. Uh, super stoked about that. But uh, Nikita Kai is basically just MMA, you know what I mean? It's the full form and tradition and the roots of martial arts, but mixed. So Ni, it stands for multiple. Ki is for the universal energy that we all have. Do is the way or the path. And then Kai is participant. So Kai is Kai Matrix. You know? And that's what I'm gonna kick him with in his head. Hey, hey, what up, brother? Good, bro. Oh, you're from uh, England? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess, yeah. Tell about it, of course. Yeah. Um, so obviously, I know that some of your strengths are Jiu Jitsu, you know, you're very versatile and you have a high work ethic. But is there anything you're looking to improve on that like, in and outside the cage? Uh, both, always. Every second, every moment I get on this planet Earth is an opportunity for growth. And every time I just got to realize that it's not always going to be perfect and just take a breath. And that that breath of oxygen is a gift, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to do the best at what I get with and, you know, work on the skills that I need to, sharpen the strengths, and then also work on all the weaknesses because we all have that. We're all human. And, um, yeah, basically... Mm-hmm.